Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan and welcome to the channel. Now, tonight's presentation, boy, do I got a stock for you. Now, this is a stock that you're probably familiar with. It is an AI play that just hasn't gotten a lot of attention recently. Now, the stock I'm talking about is Adobe. That's right. It does report earnings here in just a few days. So we're definitely excited about that. I want to give you some insight going into earnings itself. So I do have a couple articles and then we're going to jump into the Vector S7 system to show you the potential of the stock, whether it's good or bad. Now, if you're holding this position or if you're thinking about finding a new AI position to potentially get into, this video might be just for you. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right. Now, before we begin, I do just want to say I do have an MRI appointment later this afternoon. We've got some major shoulder problems from skiing last week. So if I don't seem as energetic, you know, I do apologize. I should be back in the game next week and doing a lot better here. But the first article I did want to show you, this is actually by IBD or Investors Business Daily. Great news source here. You can see, you know, the top AI intelligence trends and top AI stocks to watch. Now on their list, they mentioned, you know, obviously NVIDIA, we've got Microsoft, Google, Apple, but look at the other name here, Adobe. Now, Adobe is a huge player in this space. However, they have one competitor that has put a lot of pressure on their stock over the last 12 months. And that company has become a household name when it comes to AI in general. So this article is going to discuss just that company itself. You can see here right in the title, Open AI. That's right. The parent company of ChatGPT is actually stepping on the toes of Adobe's business model. You can see here right at the beginning of the article, shares tumbled Friday after high profile AI intelligence startup, Open AI, introduced a new text to video generator. That's right. You can simply type in a subject or a paragraph and a video will be generated from the platform itself. Now this caused Adobe stock to plunge more than 7% just on the news alone. Now OpenAI introduced Sora. That's the name of this new platform. Just like ChatGPT, which is text generative AI software. This will actually just be the ability to turn text generative software into video generative software. Huge game changer when it comes to this. I know a lot of other companies are trying to get in the space, but not the easiest thing to do. So you know me, I like to give you both a bull case and a bear case for the stock itself. This article, after doing some research, does a great job just outlining some of those key aspects. Now the first bear case for this article is actually having to do with what I was just talking about being the Sora text to video model model from OpenAI. Now the article is stating that since the company released that Sora model to the public, Adobe has taken an 11% dive in the last 30 days. Now for the first bull case scenario out of 11 forecast here, the consensus for Adobe's earnings per share comes in at 357 versus the reported 297 in the year ago quarter. Now again, the focus is on OpenAI, Adobe in the same space here, you can see Adobe generates revenue from recurrent subscription streams with the launch of Adobe Creative Cloud in July of 2013. So both of these companies are in the same space, being software as a service or SAAAS model. Now, this is one of the best bull case scenarios I found from the article here. You know, Adobe cornered the global graphic software. Now, the three main products here, Adobe Photoshop taking 41% of the market share here. Now, Adobe InDesign at 26% and Adobe Illustrator at 12.25%. So you can see here, this company has a huge market share when it comes to this SAAS model. Now, on top of that, last fall, here, the company rolled out its Firefly suit of generative AI models. Now, as far as forecasts for this year and new products coming out here, you can see Adobe AI boosted Illustrator with generative recolor. This is simply just to make these tasks much easier. Announced a conversational AI assistant in Reader and Acrobat. So it's still in beta testing. However, you can see this company is rolling out a lot of AI products to stay in the forefront when it comes to generative software. So now let's utilize the power of the Vector S7 software and see exactly how this stock matches up. Now that being said here, we got Adobe coming in at $579 while we only value the company at $509. So just like a a lot of other AI stock plays out there, this company is currently overvalued. Now, that being said, the fundamentals are pretty strong here with RV and RS coming in at 1.27 and 1.5 respectively. Now, the main cause for concern here is it's RT relative timing. This is a technical indicator. Just looking at the short-term price trend here, we do see it comes in an unfavorable rating at 0.91, letting us know that this stock is currently in a downtrend. Now, the overall rating for VST is 1.23, so still pretty high in the database of stocks altogether. Now, the company does not have a buy rating right now. It currently has a hold rating. 
If we look at forecasted earnings here, we see the forecasted earnings growth rate is at 16%, while the sales growth rate comes in at 13%. Now, while looking at these individual data points are important, let's go ahead and look at them on a graph so we can get a better visual of this information. Now, just looking at this company from a fundamental standpoint here, we've got valuation, we've got our forecasted EPS or earnings per share, growth rate and sales growth rate. Now, just real quick, just to let you know, this stock has had a buy and hold recommendation now for the last 12 months. We see nice price action from bottom left to upper right here. Our value line has been growing. So from a valuation standpoint, that is actually really good to see the value of the company growing itself. Now down below, all these charts look good here. Earnings per share, growth rate, and sales growth rate, all on the incline. Over the last 12 months, we see the forecasted growth rates here, both for earnings and sales in double digit territory. So a lot of upside potential when it comes to this position. All right, so now from a technical standpoint, I have the chart up over the last six months here. A lot of good things that I'm seeing. Now we see price action here rallying the last few days, causing the three to go above that eight day exponential moving average. In addition to that, price action just crossed above the 20 day exponential moving average as of yesterday's trading session. And this level of resistance now coming in at a level support here at 573 we see price action breaking above that level now this is a zone the top of the zone here is at 586 so i'd really like to see price action break above that zone now that i zoomed into a one month time span you can see this level i was talking about 586 with today's candlestick we do see an upper wick here showing some selling pressure right at that level so again to get confirmation you know we've already seen the moving averages in our favor now at this point i'd rather wait to see price action break above this 586 level on strong volume showing me some conviction to the upside before getting in this position all right vv nation you heard what i had to say here you know the biggest issue i have with adobe right now is just their competitor being open ai the parent company of chat gpt the competition between those two over the last 12 months has been pretty steep but as we saw adobe is rolling out new products this year to get in the forefront of this position now that being said from a technical standpoint and the vector best software the company looks pretty good its growth rate its sales growth rate a lot of fundamentals on the strong point i mean the company is overvalued but you know most ai stocks are at this time now as we looked into the technicals the moving averages are becoming in our favor now just watch the top of that resistance zone again i'd like to see price action break above that showing me some conviction to the upside hopefully on some strong volume there now if you found this video informative make sure you hit that subscribe button like our content share it so that way others can learn how to be profitable in the market now this being said you guys have a good night i'll see you tomorrow hey vv nation you know that we can analyze any stock in a matter of seconds do you want to analyze any of your stocks for free you want VectorVest to tell you what you really need to know about that stock well you can if you go to www.vectorvest.com forward slash YTFSA, you can get a free stock analysis on any stock that you're currently holding or are possibly looking at. Folks, what do you have to lose? Do that now and analyze any of your stocks in a matter of seconds.